guys, what's up? It's Emiliana. I feel like I have no time to film anymore. <laughs> um, so, yes, it's been a while for many we reasons. <laughs> many. There was supposed to be one last Friday, which for me is today because that's when I'm filming and just starting in the new month because I'm pretty sure July is next week. If not, a week before July and get this rolling. Um, my spring semester of college was really hard. I've mentioned it in a few earlier videos this year. Um, but yeah, it kind of sucked. Needed time to recover from all the negative things. Did that and then I've tried filming twice. And one of them would have been good if, like, I was alone and not with, like, family and one of my brother's friends. Like, I would have got good content. Um, and then another one I filmed and my camera literally died. So, yeah. And this one, what this was supposed to be was me going to Barnes and then showing off these books, which is good. But that didn't happen because I didn't record in Barnes because I'm too like, I love Barnes. I call Barnes and Nobles Barnes now because of other book, book YouTubers. I don't consider myself a book YouTuber yet, but I think I might get to that point, but we'll see because I still like fashion and beauty stuff. So I don't know. I also like box, so like I'm all over the place and I know that but that's okay um but yeah I really wanted a Barnes video and then these books but I am too overwhelmed in Barnes and I like looking around in Barnes so it didn't happen it's I keep saying Barnes but I also went to half price books to get one of these books so I have four books to show you guys. I'm just doing what a lot of the book YouTubers do that I watch, um, which is um, like read the book and talk about it. And a lot of these are popular as you may see already. So you guys might even know, like these are way too popular books, but I'm someone who basically buys what's hyped but not always because there's a few i bought the hating game which i feel is 50 50 and then in new york minute which i bought a while ago but they're still on my tbrs i also have a cordon of thorns and roses which you'll see in next week's video because i'm sure this goes up first so first one is Meet Me by the Lake by Carly Fortune. Um, this one I have started. Um, I got these books a little bit ago. Um, so the first one's Meet Me by the Lake by Carly Fortune, which uh, is, if you know, her second book. Um, I wouldn't say this is like a romance. Her first one's Every Summer After, if you guys didn't know, which I last read last summer, which is why I'm reading this one now. Um, so like, yes, I would say this is a romance, but it's also a little bit more than a romance. Um, so it goes over for Fern and Will, um, which are mainly the two main characters. Fern is has just lost her mom and is basically finding out like what she wants to do now and like her mom left her like this resort and she has to figure out what to do with it um that's kind of the gist of the book if you didn't know she goes um from 10 years back and then to like present time, which is really cool. And I feel like it brings some mystery in the book because you'll be reading one 
where it's like talking about something from the past and you don't know that's something from the past so it kind of has a little bit of mystery i would say just a little bit like not a lot it's like you're wondering what it is um for me i'm kind of just gonna do a little rating um it is a bit slow but she builds up a plot which i feel like honestly works i can't really rate this yet because of course i haven't fully read it but yeah it's going pretty well um i want to read this last few pages to like fully have an opinion on it because even though i'm a while way through this ending can really change a lot for my readings but i mean I had to have this, look how cute this was, and I did like every summer after, but I'm not sure if I'm going to like this better than every summer after, just because, I don't know. I don't remember because I really don't remember every summer after, because I read it a while ago and I read so many books, but I do remember me liking it, and... This one, I just need more opinions on until I read it, but it's so pretty, and this will always be on my bookshelf because of how pretty it is. Next one is another book I've read by the, an author. Um, not I haven't read. I've read a different book. I'll get into it, which is Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, which I really do want to read this. Um... So this one, I obviously, these next few, I have to read the back because I know nothing on it. But I will have to say I've read The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams and I absolutely adore that book. So I'm hoping this has like, I feel like I'll like her writing style after I know this. But I also need to read one when in Rome because of course Italy um but again covers adorable but I also had to have it because I love cheat sheet cheat sheet is a football read I'm not gonna talk too much about it I'm n I don't know if I did a different video of me talking about the cheat sheet but um and I'm not into football, and I ended up loving the book. It's really good. So I have no, like, I I have feeling I'm going to like this. So I'm going to read this, which this is the scary part for me. But I have to read poems next week for my class. So this is practice. And I do want to do more book YouTube, so I have to get used to reading the book. So it says, Anna Walk, Annie, Anna, not Anna, Annie, Annie Walker is on a tw quest to find her perfect match. Someone who complements her happy, quite quiet life running the local flower shop in Rome. This is in Rome. Rome, Kentucky. Oh, got me as excited. I should have read more. But finding her dream man may be harder than Annie imagines. Everyone knows everyone in her hometown, and the dating prospects are getting fewer by day. After she overhears latest dates, her after she overhears her latest date, she says, "Is so unbelieving, boring." Annie starts to think the problem might be her. It is too late to become flirt flirtatious and fun like the leading ladies in her favorite romance movies. Maybe she only needs a little practice. And Annie has the perfect person in mind to be her tutor, Will Griffin. Will, the sexy, tattooed, and absolute gorgeous bodyguard, is temporarily back in Rome providing security for Amelia Rose as excitement builds for her upcoming marriage to Noah Walker, Annie's brother. He has one 
perfect object objective while on the job. Stay away from Annie Walker and any other possible attachments to this sleepy town. But no sooner he than he gets settled. Will finds himself tasked with helping Annie find her love of life by becoming the next leading lady of Rome, Kentucky. Will wants no part in changing the sweet and loving Annie. He knows for a fact that some stuffy straight land sky won't make her happy, but he doesn't have the heart to say no. Amid with the I'm not reading the rest. I don't think the rest matters. But it kind of gives... It ends with us vibes. Just because of the flower shop and the dating. Not... It really does end though. Um, but... Yeah. I still think this is going to be good. And I realize people might have clicked off of me saying that. But like, I feel like I have to give... A little bit of something at least this one's lighter and then this one probably is because it's on the inside um next one's icebreaker by Hannah Grace um which I've heard a lot about this <laughs> and people who have read this or have heard about it probably know why I'm kind of like laughing and kind of like Okay, but I'm excited to read this because I've been kind of wondering to read like a hockey romance because hockey is probably like one of the sports I actually like like and am a fan of but baseball kind of too but I kind of just like baseball guys that's a whole different thing but other than that Hockey is really the only sport I care about. Um, and so this is definitely a spicy book. Um, and, but I've heard it's really good and the plot's really good. And every review I've seen is people loving this book. Um, but since this is short, I'm going to read it. Um, Anastasia Allen has worked her entire life for a shot at Team USA. It looks like everything is going according to plan when she gets a full scholarship to the University of California. Um, and lands a place on their competitive figure skating team. Nothing will stand in her way, not even the captain of the hockey team, Nate Hawkins. Nate's focus as team captain is on keeping the team on the ice, which is tricky when the faculty's mishap means they are forced to share the rank with figure skating team, including Anastasia, who is clearly can't stand him, but when Anastasia skating partner faces an uncertain future, she may have to look to Nate to take her spot. Shot. Sparks fly. Ooh. Taylor. <laughs> That's another reason why I've been gone. I've had the Taylor concert and I had Louis, so. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I saw Sparks fly and had to. Um, Sparks fly, but Anastasia isn't worried because she could never like a hockey player, right? Okay, this is gonna be cute. It kind of reminded me of a show or a movie or something I've watched, but I don't think it has anything to do with the book. But I don't know. Um, Cause I don't think it was called Icebreaker. I don't like that. And last but not least is an Emily Henry book um, called Happy Place. Um, I've read all three of her other books um, and it's kind of half and half. Um, I liked 
I liked Book Lover and People We Meet on Vacation. I didn't, I didn't like Beach Reads. I really didn't. And I know a lot of people did, but that's my opinion. It wasn't for me and that's okay. Um, so I'm sure this is like a cabin or like vacation looking at her other books. Um, but you know, she does still get me to buy them. So that's good. This is my first hardcover of hers. I've never seen a hardcover of hers before. Um, and it's pretty lengthy. So I'm wondering how I'm going to like this compared to the other three I've read. Um, I'm, I just am intrigued with her books. And it's not that Beatrice was bad, but it didn't keep me as in love as like book lovers and beach reads. no not beach reads. book lover and people we meet on vacation so i'm s seeing if i like this one then maybe if i don't like this one my books of hers are half and half and that's okay so i don't know but so this is about harriet and ren and they've been purple perfect couple since they met in college. They go together like salt and pepper, honey and tea, lobster and rolls. Except now for reasons they are still not discussing, they don't. They broke up five months ago and still haven't told their best friends. Oh, I remember this now. So it's basically I've I've read a lot of like and watched a lot of like book youtubers talk about this so it's basically they've been good since college they ended up breaking up not telling their friends and then they go on this trip and end up being in the same room because everyone thought they were together so that's kind of the gist of this book um so yeah I definitely have good options to read, um, but as you'll see in the next video, I might not actually get to read the book I want to read, and I'll keep you guys on the hook for next week. But if I picked, it probably would have been one of these two, but this one sounds intriguing. I feel like I might like this one more than I'm thinking. I've go into all my books like open-minded just to see. But yeah, that's this week's video for all my book lovers out there. Which I don't feel like I have many book lovers followers. But maybe I'll start gaining some. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, give this video a like. Follow me on all my social medias, including my new small business that I'm trying to grow. Um, follow me on Goodreads if you're a book lover like me and want to keep up with what, what I'm reading um, in this moment. But yeah, I love you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next one. And yeah.